Welcome back to the channel. Now in this quick video, I'm going to answer a question I've had um, a couple of times around how can you add GraphQL into your uh, Superbase database. So I'm going to show you an example here using Hasura. So you can link both of these together um, and they both have really generous free plans. So you can actually start to add uh, this extra level of uh, ways you can query your, your data. Um, just by linking this together. So here's one I made earlier. So you can see here, this is the my tables in here and the data. So if I add this in Hasura, it's going to appear in Superbase. So I'll just show you this example. So this is what it looks like once you've connected uh, the two uh, databases. So you can see this here. This is my example table. If I add a new row in here, just a really simple table. Uh, and then we go to browse. You can see we now have two rows. If we go back to Superbase and refresh, you're about to see that we have two rows in here now. Um, so the difference with Superbase is that they uh, they don't have GraphQL yet. So you can query them with their, their JavaScript SDK, but for um, certain projects, you know, you need that little bit of extra um, flexibility, which is where Asura comes in um, and they give you a lot more options. So you can only have 60 requests a minute on their free plan, but if you find you're getting to that, you can then upgrade and then they, you know, it's very, very flexible. They have the uh, auto scaling option in there, which, you know, is incredibly important when you're looking about what you're going to build. And that links in nicely with Superbase because the problem with Hasura is that they don't have uh, authentication or storage, but you can do all of that with, with Superbase. And it's just basically extends your Superbase database and gives you extra powers on top of it. Um, so just to show you what I'm talking about there, you can like, actually query things with GraphQL straight onto there. So you can hit see, here's my uh, my table here and here's my data and you can you know, do lots of fun things in here with uh, GraphQL. So that's a, a separate matter altogether. But what we're going to show now is how you can link your Superbase database into Hasura. So we're going to create a brand new uh, project and then connect these both together. So here we are starting by making a brand new project, Asura link, something like that. Now we need a strong password in here, which is what's going to actually be used on the Asura side to link this all together. Make sure you keep your password somewhere safe whilst you're uh, doing this. You can choose your region. Um, I know that the free plan on Asura is based on the West Coast and I put mine there so they're close together. And then all we need to do is click create new project. Now, what this is going to do in uh, Superbase is take a moment just to generate everything. Um, so whilst that is, is loading, I'm going to go across to Hasura and actually set up our project over there. So as you can see, it says it may take a few minutes. So what we're going to do is go to uh, Hasura Cloud and create a new project over here. Again, it'll be the free tier and we'll just call this Superbase link, something we can really recognize. You can see there, there's the US West. Uh, that the free tier is in. So they're both in the same place. Then click create free project. If we just click on to launch console. Okay, it's now let us straight into uh, database. So it says the first we need to do is connect our database. So if we click onto this, what we'll be able to see is you can, you know, you can create a Heroku database, but say you've already been working with Superbase and you've got to the point now where your data needs, uh, you know, needs something a little bit extra, which is why I'd want to use GraphQL. You want to be able to connect your existing database rather than migrating this somewhere else. Um, so what this shows you down here is the uh, way would uh, actually connect. So what Superbase gives you is the host name and the port and the username and the password. We just have to put all of this together. So all we're going to do is uh, click on this and give it a name. So that's Superbase database. So take a note of this. What I'm going to do just to make this easy so you can see whilst I'm typing it is uh, type this up here. So post GraphQL, and then we'll have a username and our password. So I'll just wait a moment whilst this is finishing. Okay, it looks like this is all ready. Um, so what we're going to do, uh, my Loom recording stuff is in the corner here, so it's going to tab down the side, and hopefully that will, yeah. So I get into settings and go to database down here we can see our information. So there is our host name and there is you know, everything else. So there's the port 
5432 and our user. So if we go back over here, so it's something like this. And then we want to put in our port, which was 5432. Okay, so that's this. And then all we need to do is update that to be our database, which I'll do just now. Okay, so now that's all done, just click connect and it will say adding data source. And you can see now that this is connected up so we can see our storage public extensions. I wouldn't touch the storage extensions or auth um, to begin with because that's how Superbase actually works internally. But where we have our public folder, what you'll see over here, if we go to our database, the table editor is already on the public uh, tab. So that's the only part we should really see here. So if we create a new table in here, test, uh, this is all fine. You can enable this if you want. Um, and then just click save. So we've created a new table. So this table we've created in Superbase, this is almost as if it was our existing uh, database over here. And if we, we reload, you can see now it's untracked. So if we just click track, that'll now appear over here, which is the same thing for a lot of these uh, tables in here. You can see they're not being tracked not being tracked. I wouldn't, uh, like I say, I wouldn't interfere with these, but you know, if you find that you need to, then for sure you can. So if we insert a row over here and browse, we can see that this is now going to appear in Superbase. So this is just an, a little uh, quick way of adding more flexibility on top of Superbase. Um, so if you're familiar with GraphQL, you can then start to query all of this straight away. Um, if we just run, you can see there is a information that we've already added in. So it's just a quick video, like I say, just showing how you can combine the, the power of GraphQL with Hasura into an existing Superbase database you have, or it could be you know, a brand new Superbase uh, database you want to work with. So anyway, thanks for watching. If you've got any other questions on this video, just drop a comment below. Otherwise, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.